Our next guests are two police officers from Buffalo, New York, who went viral after this video of them singing inside a restaurant was posted online. Please welcome officers Michael Norwood and Mo Badger. <laughs> <laughs> you, you rehearsed your walkout. That's yeah. really amazing. All right, so y'all are your partners, right? Yes. Okay, and uh, and how long have you been partners? Two years. Two years. And what's the height difference? I'm just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> well, well you, he, this is the little guy. You yeah. Know? yeah. So, um, he's about six five, probably with his muscles six six. I'm five four and a half. I need every. I need that half count. <laughs> I see. Um, and what did y'all? You you had careers before you became a police officer, right? <laughs> yes. yes. Um, I, yeah. Yeah. In fact, I uh, played basketball my whole entire life. Uh, I was playing professionally overseas in Finland, and then I actually broke my foot. Uh, yeah, once I did that, I played in a couple other various leagues, and at that point, I needed a new career change. And I said, you know, I really want to get back in the community and really work with the children. And so, you know, I've been on the job now for about six years and loving every bit of it. Wow. Well, good for you. That's, are you from Buffalo? Yes, I am. You are. You are too. Yeah. Um, I I was in. I, I used to sing. Well, I still sing, I guess, right? Yes, you do. I, I, I was a gospel artist, and I traveled around singing and things like that. And then I started working in the Buffalo Public Schools, and we, I, we both love working with kids. So this has been the best thing I've decided to do. You know, and it's funny because back home in Buffalo, they call us the Buffalo Bad Boys. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, because of the, you know the '90s movie. Right. Right. With um, you know Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Right. And he's Marcus, uh, married with kids, and I'm Mike Leary. I'm single. <laughs> So, so this, um, this started because y'all sing in the car all the time, right? Yes. Right. All right, and uh, let's, uh, let's hear about, like, what does it sound like when you're in the car together? Um, well. Give her a little taste. <clears throat> I got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. Well, I guess you would say, what can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl, my girl, talking about my girl, my girl. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so, you know, there, there are a lot of negative uh, videos out there uh, with police officers in, in those. This is a very positive one, and you've made a big difference in the community, right? You know, this has really been a really strong initiative uh, with our new police commissioner, Byron Lockwood, as well as our mayor, uh, Byron Brown. You know, they wanted everybody to be uh, community police officers and really show people that, you know, we're human. We're not, you know, what we see on the media and stuff right, like that. Right, right. And you started a foundation. Tell everyone what that is. Well, the foundation, uh, to be honest, Ellen, is something that happened organically. Uh, me, myself, and our other partner, Lieutenant Ty McAllister, uh, you know, we grew up in the inner city of Buffalo and wanted to develop a program that would really give back to the kids uh, and really have long-lasting uh, relationships with them. Yeah, the program is called COPS, C-O-P-S-S, -S, Children Overcoming Police Stereotypes Through Sports. And... <laughs> and, and you know, what, what, we, what we notice is, you know, if we can catch them when they're younger, you know, and we're, we're coaching them, um, supporting them, whatever sport it may be, or even singing now. I guess it can be through singing, too, yeah. now. But, you know, whatever we d can do to, build, to mend those, those bridges, you know, that's what we've tried to do. And now, as they get older, they won't have the same, you know, negative thoughts right. that they have of cops because we've dealt with them as a young and, and young age, and they, we built that trust with them. That's so fantastic. Mm -hmm. So uh, we we brought you here because we want to help support that. For the past two seasons, Cheerios and I have been encouraging acts of good, and we think what you're doing is a lot of good in that community. So we want to give your foundation a check for ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Go to my website, tell us what you're doing. We'll be back.